my topic is about uh, mind mapping and its role in education. And uh, in the few minutes, I will try to go through this, uh, conclude the, and uh, write the goals and introduction methodology and conclusion about mind mapping. Uh, my goal is to present evidence of mind mapping value for better teaching and learning and also to improve understanding about using medical education in Sudan. So, uh, I appreciate that there are many medical uh, methods used in learning, but I strongly appreciate also that mind mapping is a good method in teaching, but it is underutilized in education. So, what is the problem? The problem that our medical students faced with great amounts of information and they have very limited time to digest and absorb this information. So all the time we found the medical students are struggling with their own capacity. So most of them or many of them are not successful through the examination time. Usually as medical educators, we used texts like, like PowerPoint. PowerPoint is linear rather than connective and it is less meaningful and less critical thinking when we use PowerPoint or any uh, text slides. I will go through certain definitions about learning. Understanding, we know that understanding is to get idea about something retaining the, or the art of storing the information for our students, uh, recalling or retrieving, this we'll talk about in depth because it is the problem with our students. So, we have to ask ourselves a question, why our students understand but fail to retain and recall the information? The challenge is to know that understanding something is not sufficient to remember it. Just we taught it, it doesn't mean they caught it. And also the way the student cuts the information or the notes, it is not the right way. We understand as medical educators, we understand our materials very well, but we fail. What about the way we deliver the information? It does not reinforce retaining or recalling the information. Mind mapping simply it is defined as multisensory, nonlinear, connected teaching method. It enhances the critical thinking and supports deeper level of integrated information. While mind mapping is now rising in literature review, but in Sudan, in medical education, it is underutilized. We use the methodology searching library database PubMed and uh, PsychoInfo, Medline, Embez. We look for the conceptual and empirically published literature on mind mapping. I used additional resources from Tony Buzan, the inventor of mind mapping. We made to avoid omissions and error. We review all the articles we search for. And I use some uh, keywords and phrases like Sudan, mind mapping, critical thinking, visual learning, and medical education. We look here for two words, imagination and knowledge. Mind mapping is give a huge weight on imagination. They think that by imagination, I can absorb knowledge. And no wonder if we find the genius Albert Einstein said imagination is more important than knowledge as knowledge is limited but imagination encircle the world. Here we have thinking pattern of human brain. We have the right lobe of the brain and the left lobe of the brain. The right lobe of the brain is responsible for the colors, imagination, and all the visual images. But the left one is responsible for words, number, list, analysis. So we can say the right one is for the art and the left one is for logic or analysis. We can find 
Albert Einstein here, he used the right brain for the art and the left brain to catch his science. Right and left brain, I just want one of the audience, a volunteer, just to read for me the, this slide. Who is? I want somebody to read the next slide for me. No. <laughs> no. Okay. So, sir? Sir, okay. Please look at this chart and say as quickly as, pop as possible the color and not the word. Okay, so if you read the words, if you read the words, read the word, please, sir. Should I read the words now? Yeah. Okay, so yellow, blue, orange, black, red, green, purple, yellow, red, orange, green, black, blue, red, purple, green, blue, orange. Yeah, so it is very easy, right? Yeah. But at first, sorry, at first, your right brain try to say the color and your left try to say the word. So this is the conflict between the right. And this is the way we deliver our information to our students. We just uh, enhance their left side of the brain. Okay? So, mind mapping is, uh, for 60 years ago, is invented by Tony Buzan. He considered it a universal key to unchange the potential of the brain. He used certain things, certain tools. He used images, keywords and colors. Uh, also here, we have the tools of mind mapping. The first thing, mind map is structured in a very organic, uh, in very organized and uh, clear way. If I ask somebody here to calculate quickly the dots here, it will take time, right? But if we do it like this, it is simply Five by six, it is 30. So this is the way of mind map. It is very structured. Also here we have lines. Mind mapping use lines. And as you notice here, it is not straight. Because nothing in the nature, it is nothing to be straight in the nature. So he used to use this type of lines. Words, you have to use or sometimes we uh, put our text for our students by many words. But when we use mind mapping, we use only keywords which will enhance clarity for the students. Uh, the images is very important in mind mapping because as you know, one image is equal thousand of words. The most powerful thing is mind mapping is color. So you can imagine here, this room without color. Or I will give you another example. I think most of you know this map, okay? So imagine this map, if you want to go from point A to point B, okay? So how much if it would be like this? So if we used anything without color, okay, it will be difficult for us to know. Step for creating mind mapping, simply we will have paper. In front of the paper, we create a central idea. Then we added branches to the map. The, the branches radiated out from the central idea. Then in step three, we add keywords, just keywords, and it will be very clear. After that, we color the branches. The branches and sub-branches will take the same color, but the sub-branches will be thinner than the main one. After that, we include the images. So, here, this is mind map. This is mind map for how to construct a mind map. Okay, so, mind map, first we have paper, it is blank paper. After that, the paper will be landscape and 
start in the middle. As I mentioned before, we use images, colors, and words. We use the lines for connecting, and it will be organic, and it will be thicker or thinner, depending it is main idea or sub-idea. Also, we have the style. The style, it must have some of fun, and it must have emphasis on certain uh, logics, uh, information. Here we have the structure. A structure, as we mentioned, the structure is clear and radiant, and it must be with, very, with uh, many associations. So, here we have to look after uh, to see that many of uh, medical students try to use mind mapping. Physical therapy students use mind mapping. This is a study, and they found that they can arrange and integrate the material better than using the text uh, methods. Also, a study found that the pictures and the colors can add and connect between the thoughts the way that the real world thinking, uh, in, like in clinical uh, location. Also, in nurse practitioner education, they used mind mapping for a group of students. They found that it increased the visualization of relationships. It helped in gaining information, data, retention, and very inclusive comprehension. Also, mind mapping can be used in assignment and project. It is a very influential tool that assists in planning and structure the uh, topics of, uh, many topics of researches. The evidence supporting the mind mapping that Journal of Experimental Psychology found that colors can help to process and store images more competently than black and white colors. And it seems that from uh, the pictures we saw before, far better images than for the memory than any other uh, uh, words. For example, this slide, if I uh, close it after a while, you cannot remember all the things I uh, mentioned it here. But if it is pictures, you can remember a lot of information. Mind mapping is an example of what we call radiant thinking stimulation, like our brain. Our brain thinks in a radiant matter. It stimulates all the aspects of the brain. So when we use mind mapping in our education, it means that we stimulate the, uh, the right and the left brain for our students. The brain is work in a base of connotation. It can, the brain, our brain can connect thousands of ideas at the same time. Here, this is our student. There are two ways. We have the traditional ways of taking notes, and also we have the mind map taking notes. We see here this is student. The, the normal way, it is linear way, but the other way here, you see, it is radiant, radiant, it is connected to each other. Also here, this we can compare between the linear way of teaching and the mind map way. On the left side, we have the mind map. Mind map, we have color, images, dimensions, line, imagination, awareness, it will enhance the information to be completely uh, understood. We have the linear nodes here, mind mapping. It is not uh, something that we can uh, say, uh, what can I say? It is, uh, it connects information. It connects information. Many information can connect it at the same time. The linear way we use it, it is just linear analysis and we have some images. In PowerPoint, we can use images, but still, it is not connected to each other. In our conclusion, we have to say that it is a universal key to unlock the potential of the brain, and it incorporates in clinical, critical thinking, it integrates information and solves the range of complicated clinical problems. You can see here the photo. This is a nerve cell. And we have here the mind map. Mind map mirror natural thinking process of the brain. Our brain think in a radiant manner. So it is a connectivity. 
Our recommendation is that the fast continued change in the medical science and the need for future medical practitioners to remain competent need a change in the educational methods by which we uh, learn our students, creating an environment that improves students' critical thinking and ability to master the quantity of information required to succeed in medical education. Also, we have two important points. We can do some practical implications by high quality professional training of the university teaching staff because sometimes we blame our students that they, they did not got, uh, get uh, high marks, but the problem is that we are not enforce them to have uh, our recalling and retention their information. And also, we have to do some social implications to assist the learners with lower cognitive competence to attain more uh, information. This is my reference, and thank you for being here. Uh, just uh, to add something, when I put the first slide here, I put this also, the left side of the brain on the right side. But I think it is not clear like now because left side now you see here it is color. So this is the picture we can put it in our mind that the right side is just for images, for colorful, for uh, visualization and the left side for logic and analysis. Thank you.